Hello everyone, this is a 32 back game with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play Top Dat from the makers of Ludo. This is an older game, two to six players, seven and up. This is coming from, you know, the 1990s somewhere. 1987 actually. The colorful double, the colorful game of double covers and double fun. Basically your object is to get rid of all your cards and catch your opponents with as many points as possible. You get 72 cards and these are the cards. They're definitely interesting. And you see the back. I'm excited. The cards have a combination of up to three different colors. There's some special cards, like that one. And that one. That we'll talk about. And that one. And there's a bunch of them. Let's see if there's anything else. So the 70 cards total, including 50, that's so combinations of red, yellow, green, and blue, 12 top that cards like this one, four pickup cards, so in a plus one, that's this, all players, all other players have to pick up a card, and there's also these wild cards, four of them, this basically says it's two yellows and whatever color you want. It says to select a dealer via a fair method, whatever you prefer. <laughs> and each player is going to get six cards. So, um, yeah, pull this dealer out. And we'll set up the deck over here. Hopefully you can see it. I will set it up over here. So everyone can see it. <clears throat> and we're going to start this off by flipping the top card. It says it's a draw card. Uh, if it is a special card, then we draw another one. Beautiful. Very nice. So, the person to the left of the dealer was first, and you go to the left throughout the game. We're just going to do two players. Obviously, it's up to six. When it's your turn, you must try to match one or two of these colors. So let's see what I got here in my hand. I, I, I can't do that. I, well, I can match one. I can't match both, unfortunately, with that one. Um... And this doesn't like this doesn't work either necessarily. So I can match up one. That's fine. If you can match up one card, I'm gonna change this so it's this way. If you can match up this one, that's fine. However, if you only have a single cover, and I should mention, so you're gonna try to cover up two cards, two of these colors. If you can't, one is fine. <clears throat> If you cover up both, that's called a double cover. And even, so it's an example in there. If you have a double cover, you can continue to add cards as long as you want, as long as you can. Obviously, the object is try to get rid of the cards you can add. If you cannot play a double cover, you can play a single cover and match only one section, which we did. But, your turn ends and you have to draw the top card of the deck. If you cannot cover anything with a single or a double cover, and you just draw the top card of the deck and end your turn. Same with if you don't want to play the cards for whatever reason, you don't have to. If the last card you played is a double cover, and you don't have a card... If the last card played is a double cover, you do not need to draw another card. So maybe I just play a double cover and that's it. My turn ends. You also can never cover all three sections. So let's cover that. 
Whoever is the first to get rid of all the cards wins. Obviously, there's special cards like the wild card that I have, which can be any color. And you can play off this side or this side. I actually made that clear, not just one side. <clears throat> you pick up cards and you play that one. A lot of players must immediately draw one card clockwise from the draw pile. And whoever plays it can just keep continuing the turn. The top fat cards, these right here, when you play them, the next person has to satisfy that as soon as possible. And I mean, basically, somebody has to satisfy that as soon as possible to, by playing that color combination to cover that up. And if you don't, there's penalties where you have to draw cards. So, we'll go to this player, we'll do, we'll see what's going on here. Um, okay, he's going to play this, and he has a double cover. Um, and then he's going to do this. As another double cover. And there's that Tom Vance. There's 12 of those cards, as I mentioned, at the top. That's. So now he continues his turn. Now, if that card is still uncovered, he's going to yell out, top that. And my opponent, or me, I'm going to have to try to, to satisfy that, to cover that up. I'm just going to top that with another top that card. And... Yeah, I'm going to end my turn. Top that, I say. My opponent, that being me, that has to top that. I... I can't. <laughs> I wish. <clears throat> so instead, I'm just going to play a single cover. And... I have to draw a penalty because I can't cover that up. So yeah, I have to, basically I have to draw two cards. One is a penalty for not covering that card and the other one is because I only played a single cover. So it comes back to this guy. He can't satisfy his own card. Hmm. I think I'll draw two cards. <clears throat> Comes back to me. Need red and yellow. Red and yellow. Red and yellow. Shit. <laughs> um. Well, I'm gonna top that this side and penalize him a little bit more. <laughs> Red, blue, he's going to, oof, damn it, it had to be the reverse. That's my problem with this top desk. It always seemed to be the wrong call combination. <sighs> well, now we're kind of screwed. <laughs> Comes back to me. Can I cover up a red, blue? Mm, not really. Uh, okay, perfect. I'm going to cover my own top that. And... I'm going to play this. Some of them are just solid colors. That's fine. And I'm going to bring this over here so that we're not going all the way to the neighbors. <laughs> so I had a single cover. I would still have a top that, so I get to draw two cards. Did he get anything to help out? Yes, he did, thankfully. So he gets a double cover. No more penalties. He's going to play... Red, blue. Uh, nope. Well, he's going to play this one, which is going to force. I have to draw one, and he has to draw one. I had to draw one because it was a single cover. That goes back to me. I'm going to 
double cover that. Do I have a blue and yellow? Technically, I do. Can I satisfy that? Technically, I do. <laughs> or will. Uh, oh, let's play another one. I think I'm getting off camera here, so let's bring this over here. <laughs> and... Yeah, I can do that. And... I'm gonna end my turn. Actually, I'll play one more. And draw a card for the single cover. And now he has to play a yellow-green, which he can. And now he's going to play... He can't really do much. He's just going to do a single cover. Oops. And draw a card. That's back to me. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I can do... That's not correct. Play a single cover. Draw a card because it's a single. Comes back to him. He's gonna play this double over here. I'm coming off screen again. <laughs> and damn it, that's the same freaking card. It's all the same card, actually. Mm, he's gonna play this. Nope. Screw it. We'll play a single card. And it comes back to me. What am I going to do? Not a lot. Because <laughs> I got no play. So I'm just going to draw a card because I can't play. And well, my turn is over. As soon as you draw a card, your turn is over. So I'm going to play this one. Blue, green. And I go out. And that, that's it. And that's the whole round. Now is uh, I want to see if there's a score. Now it says it's a strategy. Single covers are useful, even if you can, even if you have to pick up a card because it gives you a way to improve your hand. And on top of that, cards are important to get other players to increase the number of cards in their hands. And I think that is it. There is no scoring. Just whoever goes out first wins. You can, if you want, do a scoring. You know, whatever cards are left in my hand or the value. This would be a value. I think there's something like that, but I didn't see it. Yeah, there is nothing about scoring. Now... If the draw pile is used up before you run out of cards, you can still continue, but no cards get drawn. And then scoring takes place when one player is out of cards, no one can play. So it does actually talk about scoring, but it doesn't actually specify what scoring is, does it? Okay, yeah, it does say so. All other players have got a total of values of the cards in their hands, and the score is kept. The value of each card is the number of in the corner. So these would be six, these are twos, fours, top dots, or whatever they are. So yeah, that is top that. <laughs> as I lose a card. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. I think it's a very interesting game. And yeah, we'll see you next time for more things for want.